Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson of L. Hutchinson Designs. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a tea light candle holder out of a paper bag, much like this one here. You can just take a tea light like this, place it in the bottom of the bag, and the light will show through all of these little cutouts. And you can just light it with a long lighter like this. So I'm going to set that aside right now. Now I'm going to show you how to do this using this paper bag, a hole punch, and mat, a couple of shape punches, some decorative scissors, and some more hole punches. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take my decorative edgers and cut the top of the bag, just cutting straight across like this to give it a decorative design on top. As you're cutting, you want to line up the grooves so you get a cohesive design across the entire thing like that. So now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to take my hole punch because a lot of these kind of punches will work on the edges but they won't work in the middle. So to get a, a design on the side in the middle here, um, this is a way that you can do it. You pr place your pad behind where you're working so it protects the table and then you just put your punch press and twist and it punches a little hole and it goes through both sides like that and you can continue to go as many times as you want then and you can make a design like this heart or anything that you would like. Then you can take your other punches and just make designs all over the bag in any kind of random way that you would like or in a pattern, whatever you prefer. I'm going to do them like this. You can measure it if you want it to be exact. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It's all up to you. And then and just smooth it down with your fingers. Okay, and then sometimes you might want to go in with different patterns like this for a different effect. Or you have these. You can go in and do like this. You can do it from the top, from the sides, whatever. And this is your finished effect. My name is Linda Hutchinson and thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.